This animation begins by introducing the storks living on Stork Mountain. These storks have a special job which was delivering babies to families all around the world using cloth carriers. It's not an easy job because sometimes the babies move around a lot during the journey. Over time, the stork's job changed. Now they work for a company called Corner Store and deliver packages instead of babies. One of the storks working for this company is named Junior. After finishing a delivery, Junior's colleague tells him that the CEO of the company, Hunter, wants to see him. When Junior went to his boss's room, Hunter was there holding a bird. There he told Junior that he was doing a great job and was going to be promoted to chairman of the company. With the promotion, Hunter showed Junior a picture of a young woman named Tulip and asked him to help bring her back to the human world. Eighteen years ago, a stork named Jasper was supposed to deliver Tulip to her parents. But when her parents' address lamp broke, the other storks couldn't find them. This accident made all the storks stop delivering babies. Nobody knows where Jasper is now. Tulip was raised by the storks and ended up working for Hunter's company. However, she wasn't doing well at her job and was causing the company to lose money. So, Hunter decided to fire her to prevent any further problems. After getting the order from his boss, Junior went to Tulip and her animal friends. They were trying to fly with a rocket Tulip made. But the rocket went out of control because a chicken activated it too strongly. It hit Tulip and the others, making them fall. Luckily, Junior flew to save them, even though Tulip's rocket caused a fire in the shipping office. Even though Junior was supposed to fire Tulip for the mistake, he couldn't do it. Instead, he told her she was being transferred to the mail delivery division, which hadn't been active for a while. Tulip was excited and accepted the new job. But after moving to the new building, she got bored because there was no work for her. To pass the time, she started talking to herself while waiting for something to do. Next, there's Nate Gardner, a boy who spends a lot of time playing with his toys because his parents, Henry and Sarah, are always busy with work and don't pay much attention to him. One day, while riding in the car with his parents, Nate sees three brothers having fun together and wishes he had a younger brother to keep him company. But when he asks his parents for a younger sibling, they ignore his request, which makes Nate feel sad. Back at home, feeling lonely and ignored by his parents, Nate sneaks into the attic and finds a brochure from Corner Store, a company that delivers babies. At that time, he decides to secretly order a baby brother for himself, pretending it's his parents who made the order. He writes a letter and sends it off, hoping for a baby brother to arrive soon. The next day, Tulip, a worker at Corner Store, receives Nate's letter and is excited to finally have something to do. Meanwhile, Hunter, the CEO of Corner Store, is busy playing golf with his pet bird. At that time, Junior is startled when he sees Tulip on his computer screen and quickly disconnects the cable so Hunter won't know that he hasn't fired Tulip as ordered. Trying to act calm, Junior pretends like nothing happened in front of Hunter. Soon after, Junior rushed to Tulip's room, where she was about to insert Nate's letter into the baby-making machine. He tried to stop her, explaining that the letter shouldn't go into the machine. But Tulip didn't listen and put the letter in anyway, starting the process to make the baby Nate ordered. Junior panicked and tried to shut off the machine, hurting his wing in the process. After managing to turn it off, he told Tulip to leave the room. But then, to his surprise, the baby-making process was complete, and a tube containing a baby appeared. At that time, Junior worried because he didn't want anyone to find out that the machine had been turned on again. One day, Pigeon Toady, who is always causing trouble, enters Tulip's workroom, making Junior and Tulip hide the tube with the baby inside. After Pigeon leaves, Junior plans to deliver the baby to its intended address. But since his wing is broken, he can't fly, so they decide to use a plain Tulip made instead. Soon after, they start their journey to Nate's house, unaware that Jasper is following them because he wants to find Tulip, the baby he was supposed to deliver in the past. Meanwhile, in Nate's house, Nate is working on something in the backyard while his parents are busy with work. Shortly after, his dad, Henry, comes over to see what Nate is doing. There, Nate shows him the baby order brochure he found and explains that he wants a baby brother. Henry tries to tell Nate that baby deliveries don't happen anymore, but Nate doesn't really listen. He asks his dad to go back to work, saying he's used to doing things alone. On the other hand, Pigeon, who became suspicious of Junior and Tulip's behavior, returned to Tulip's study and found baby powder. He then decided to search for Junior's whereabouts using his small plane. Then, as Junior and Tulip continued their journey, Tulip wanted to give the baby a name, but Junior stopped her. In that moment, Tulip kept asking questions, annoying Junior, who almost dropped her from the plane, but saved her just in time. 
Soon after, the baby started crying, so Tulip left the controls to check on the baby at the back of the plane. This caused the plane to crash into a snowy mountain. Tulip and Junior argued and blamed each other, but they soon realized the baby was unharmed. Because of that, Junior decided to take the baby alone and leave Tulip, whom he believed was always causing trouble. During the journey, Junior, traveling on foot because his arm was broken, faced a snowstorm and was attacked by a pack of wolves. Suddenly, he passed out and woke up to find himself and Tulip captured by the wolves, with the baby about to become their dinner. As one wolf approached the baby, another intervened and they ended up playing with the baby instead of eating it, enchanted by its laughter. In the same way, Tulip hit Junior and the wolves, happy with her actions that made the baby laugh, let them go, and even used them for entertainment. At the time, Tulip took the chance to hit one of the wolves and grab the baby with Junior, running across a wooden bridge. At the end of the bridge, Tulip and Junior cut it down to stop the wolves, but the wolves surprised them by forming a bridge themselves to chase them. In that moment, Tulip and Junior kept running until they fell into an underground river. They escaped using a small boat, but the wolves transformed into boats and submarines to chase them. After getting out of the river, Tulip and Junior hurried to their plane with the baby. They turned the plane into a boat to cross a river, while the wolves tried to mimic them but ended up falling into the water since they couldn't fly. Meanwhile, back at the Gardner family home, Sarah noticed that her husband was still outside. Soon after, she went out and found him playing with Nate on the roof. When Sarah asked what they were doing, Henry invited her to join them, realizing they hadn't spent much time together as a family. So, they all worked together to build a small airplane runway on the roof. On the other hand, the baby, still on the journey with Tulip and Junior, became restless. At that time, Junior tried to calm the baby by singing a song. When they reached the riverbank, Junior purposely broke their boat so they could spend the night there. Meanwhile, Pigeon had reached the crash site of Tulip's plane and was asking animals in the area if they had seen her and the others. In the evening, Junior and Tulip set up a campfire and made a bed for the baby, Diamond Destiny. At that time, Junior told Tulip he would go to the port the next day to arrange things for Diamond. Tulip, while braiding Junior's feathers, shared her plan to search for her parents, whose address they didn't know because her delivery lamp was broken. She only had a fragment of it, which she turned into a necklace. Tulip didn't want Diamond to suffer like her, growing up without meeting her parents. Touched by her honesty, Junior allowed her to name the baby, and she chose Diamond Destiny. During the night, Diamond started crying and Junior and Tulip tried to soothe her in their sleepy state. Unbeknownst to them, Pigeon had found them and reported their location to Hunter. The next morning, Tulip woke Junior so they could continue their journey with Diamond, who seemed reluctant to eat Tulip's food. Meanwhile, Nate felt happy and hugged Sarah, who helped him set up for Diamond's arrival. Since then, Nate and his family grew closer, and Nate didn't feel lonely anymore. At the same time, Tulip and Junior became closer as they traveled together with Diamond. At the corner store office, Hunter intentionally changed Diamond's address so she wouldn't end up at Nate's house. Meanwhile, Tulip and the others reached the port but were chased by wolves who transformed into a car. Just as they were surrounded, Jasper arrived and flew them to a ship sailing on the ocean. The wolves formed a broken heart to show their sadness at not being able to adopt Diamond. On the ship, Tulip expressed her anger at Jasper for not letting her meet her parents. But Jasper revealed he had secretly collected fragments of the lamp from Tulip's parents' address. Unfortunately, one fragment was missing, which Tulip now kept. Soon after, Tulip gave the fragment to Jasper so they could find her parents' address. She was happy at the thought of going home, and Junior encouraged her to go meet her parents. Then, Tulip went with Jasper, but when she reached her parents' house and was about to ring the bell, she decided to go get Diamond first. Meanwhile, Junior arrived at Diamond's address. Back at the Gardner family home, they were surprised by what they thought was a baby package ordered by Nate but it turned out to be police officers asking them to remove the lights from the mini runway on their roof. Nate was sad but had to take down the lights he'd installed with his parents. On the other hand, Junior was shocked to see Hunter at Diamond's address. He was caught and tied up, while Diamond was taken by penguins to the corner store office. As for Tulip, when she reached Diamond's address, she found Junior tied up. Learning that Diamond had been taken by Hunter, Tulip ordered something from corner store, and returned it to sneak into the office without being detected. Inside, there was an event with storks, so Tulip and Junior disguised themselves as mascots to enter the room where Diamond was. They fought the penguins quietly to avoid waking the sleeping baby. 
Shortly after, Junior and Tulip managed to rescue Diamond, but their disguise was uncovered, so they hurried to the mail office. Under pressure, Tulip threatened to put letters into the baby-making machine, and despite Hunter's offer for Junior to become chairman, he defied his boss and loaded one million letters into the machine. As a result, the machine started producing babies, and the storks began delivering them to their destinations using cloth slings. Meanwhile, Hunter tried to destroy the machine with a heavy tool, but Diamond pressed a remote button that controlled a robot, causing it to topple from the building into the river. With the baby delivery tubes empty, the storks used blankets to carry the babies to their parents, who were delighted to welcome their new family members. At night, Nate was thrilled to see a stork flying with the baby he had ordered. Shortly after, he turned on the lights to welcome Diamond. After completing their mission, Junior and Tulip said their goodbyes. In the final scene, Junior and the other storks escort Tulip to her parents' house. When the door opened, Tulip's family warmly welcomed her after 18 years of waiting. They even hugged Junior, expressing their gratitude. The animation ends. The moral lesson from this animation is always double-check your orders, or you might accidentally end up with a stork parade and a house full of surprise babies. And remember, even storks need a vacation from delivering bundles of joy.